Hey guys, today is the 28th of January. As you know, yesterday I was just excited to get a video in. So we're going to get a little more serious and get into some details. Now, as you know, um, we have, uh, we're, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, obviously. Um, as you know, um, we got to move up since I talked yesterday about going down. But I want to just say real quickly that um, to put things in proper perspective, again, I was just excited to get a video in. Um, <clears throat> when I make a call, a lot of times I will anticipate what I think is going to happen, okay? So when I said that Bitcoin was going to go down, my time frame really is probably anywhere from a day to the next week. Okay, that's that's kind of my hunch. I didn't really think that we're just getting ready to crash right away kind of thing, you know? That's, and again, in my, my Telegram room, guys, you know I've talked about the last few days being important. So that's kind of what I'm what I'm talking about. We're going to know a lot more really near the end of the month here. And you figure today's the 28th, uh, full moon. Wow. <laughs> uh, so we really got one. We've got three more uh, days after this until the end of the month. So really, right around that time, we're going to make or break uh, Bitcoin. So we're really looking at, at that as a pivotal time, whether we're going to be able to uh, base out and continue higher, or in fact go ahead and fail now. I'm going to go through some details first, but then I'm going to get back to what I talked about yesterday in my video, which I think is important, uh, really the most important thing. But let's just talk about what's happening right now. Okay, so what we're looking at right now, we're looking at the one hour chart, okay, keeping our uh, triangle up. Now, this really technically has become a descending triangle. I say that because if you really look here, right here at the bottom of this here, you can see that we've developed our base. You see this trend line that I put together. Notice that our base here was formed a bit lower. Even though we touched there, our base was really up here. You know what I'm saying? So we've got a spike down lower, of course. But again, that's kind of where our base is forming is a little bit lower. So technically speaking, as you can see here, we could put in a slow, uh, just a little bit descending line if we wanted to. And we could technically call this a descending triangle if we wanted to. But just... You know, for argument's sake, let's just put the basic triangle in there. We'll talk about a few things. Now, what we're looking at here, I changed and thickened the lines for you as well as changed the color so you can kind of get an idea here. These are the Bollinger Bands, which you can see we coincided here with the flattening here. And now we've turned up. And I turned this upper band into yellow so you can see the difference right there. And you notice, so it's kind of coinciding with the topping of that right there. So I kind of expected to see a, a rebound. But what's really more important is where the rebound goes to. So if you look at this right now, we've got a, this is a, uh, a, uh, a Fibonacci retracement here. We're looking here at the 33,005, 600 area, which I had talked about in my telegram room before. We never made it. We failed, and that's why we, we saw the downturn here. But now if you notice here, this is a strong move. We're going to be closing here in the next hour or two. So it'll be very telling to watch. But right now, again, this is on the hourly chart. Notice here that we're still, this is a great move. That was a big move and nice, very nice. Once we got along, uh, above the 32,000, it really was nice. Which, again, that 31.9 that I talked about also with my telegram. And you see that right here. Okay. So with that in mind, um, here we are approaching that 33,005 to 600 area. Notice with this huge move, we still haven't broken it. So to be honest with you, until we're really getting out of the confines of this triangle, I'm not really impressed by this too much, to be honest with you. So we would have to get up in the 35,000 area for me to change my mind. I mean, even above, but to be honest. So just give you an idea of what's going on. Again, this is the hourly time frame, okay? Now we're going to look at the four-hour time frame. And again, you can see the flattening here. But again, you'll see the base here a little bit lower. It's a bit of a descending triangle there. And uh, again, notice we're topping out here at the upper Bollinger Bands again. So this is really nothing too impressive to write home about, okay? Just to give you an idea. Same thing on the daily chart. See what we got going here? Okay, this is an impressive candle, and we haven't closed just yet, right? But what happens thereafter, we really don't know. But as you can see right here, guys, you know, in fact, you know, here, let me put a trend line in here for you. Give you an idea what we're, what we're talking about here. I'll just paint it up for you real quickly. See, we're, we're probably going to be approaching this real soon, guys. Okay? So, I mean, again, I don't even know we'll get there. My point is we've got a bit of resistance here. Okay? 
And that's, if you notice, we haven't really gone through that or even approached it yet. So until we really get through that, I'm not really impressed with too much, okay? So again, remember my time frame is one to seven days. I really thought that at the end of the month and the first couple of days is really where we're going to see uh, a pivotal moment, you know what I mean? And, I, and I'll talk about that in a bit here. So again, I'm just showing you the daily time frame, okay? Now, we're going to go back to our triangle. This is a better look here. What I want to point out in this is our moving averages, okay? Now, this is nice and this is great, you know, but again, we're still in the confines of our triangle. We really haven't broken out of it yet. So, and I would expect, it, you know, if we're going to turn down, we would want to see a lower high as per the confines of the triangle. So here we are on a four hour time frame. Notice here, here's our highs boom, 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 boom. But see, we, we never even reached our triangle there. You see what I'm saying? So that's the first sign that you're looking for. Then here we are again. Now, this is what, what I wanted to point out to you guys. This is the on the four hour time frame, keep in mind. This is um, where we have the, uh, the break, the uh, what I said is called the death cross here. That's why I think that's more telling than anything. And a lot of times you may see a rally up uh, after it crosses and then and then just, you know, may rally up like this and then just slam down, that kind of thing. So, but most importantly, if you notice, we've rallied up a good, strong move, but where are we stopping at right now? And until, you know, we're looking at, what, what's that, 33,450. We're right there now. So until we really bust through that, okay, we're really not doing anything. And if you notice here, again, I'll point this out for you. We've got, uh, let's see where, where we're looking at here. We've got a bit of um, resistance here that you guys, if you can notice that right there. So we really haven't begun to uh, approach that just yet. You know what I mean? So again, nothing to write home about, guys. I'm not really too impressed with this, okay? And you can even see another bit of resistance up in this area here, okay? Let me, let me do that one more time, guys. Come on. Okay. Right up in this, this area here, guys. So we've really got two resistances that we really have to get through here before we're really accomplishing much, okay? So again, remember this on the four hour time frame becomes quite clear, but the moving averages I believe are gonna tell it all. You expect, you might see a rally up to the, the, the 200 as I said before, uh, but you know, are we gonna get through it? Really, really, <laughs> you know, we just, we have an uphill battle. Let's just put it that way, okay? Now, this is the daily time frame, still in the confines of the triangle. We've done nothing yet. Notice the resistance will start approaching. So really, you know, we can stay in the confines of this channel all the way up to just about 34, 9, you know, 8, thereabouts. So I just want to give you an idea of where we're at, okay? But I want to go back and talk about this death cross because I believe that's the most telling factor. Time and time again, you go throughout your history, you will see that, well, usually it just is a slam down thereafter. So we're waiting on that, and I think this is all coinciding with the end of the month. And I do think in the next week we're going to have a pivotal moment, whether it be up or down. And, of course, I think right now the most telling factor is, in fact, our death cross. Okay? So I do believe that we're probably going to head down. But remember, that's open for debate still because we have to see what the charts tell us. Remember, I always say in the Telegram room, guys, uh, each day is a chapter to the story. This is why we watch. So this is what we're doing right now. We're watching. And we're going to continue to pay attention. We'll be diligent about this. Uh, I'm here for you guys. If you've got any comments, please uh, put them underneath in the channel. And by the way, I just want to comment on some people with the comments and all. Um, you know, we've got a couple of these trolls that come in and they seem to want to uh, start talking about all these wonderful, oh, I did this Bitcoin and that, and they're putting the numbers. On. I'm going to tell you right now, guys, just to make life simple for you to understand, if you post them, I'm going to get rid of them. OK, that's not what this channel is about. OK, this channel is about educating folks, not not. Um, hey, hey, let's send them over here. No, that's not what we're doing here. So expect to get those uh, comments removed. I just want to make that clear for everybody With that in mind. Uh, if this is what you want to hear, you like this comment, please hit the like, share, subscribe button and I'll be doing Ethereum next. So with that in mind, guys, have a good day.